We had best be careful going in this adventure. The forecast is a heavy drizzle. What's going on guys? It's Nate Sundarys here and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be doing episode 39 of the Dynamax Adventure single run series. <clears throat> Excuse me, in the last episode, we took on the being of knowledge, Yuxi. And for today, as hinted in today's introduction, shall we say, <clears throat> We are taking on a being said to create the ocean's mass. That is none other than Kyogre. So without further ado, <clears throat> no more stalling. Time to begin. So I hope you're enjoying the series so far. If you are, then please drop a like, drop a comment down below, and also check out the description. There will be a unique Blurb about Kyogre here, the upcoming legendary, <clears throat> and I say this every time, pardon me, I say this every single time, there is a playlist in the description below with every episode up until this one and beyond. So plenty of content on the channel, we're coming up to the climax of our little adventure here. Oh, series rather. I haven't even started today's adventure. So yeah, we are coming up to the finale in about... This is... This is episode 38. So... Another 10 or 11 episodes after this and we'll reach the finale. Although, this isn't the only series that's coming up coming to an end soon, our single, no, not a single run, our uh, shiny area hunt for Legends Arceus is almost coming to an end. From the point of recording, we only have one more area to do, Alabaster Fields, but when this is uploaded, then we'll have the finale coming up next. So, things are finishing rather fast. To which I can say one thing and one thing only. I'm really glad I'm sticking through these to the end. I tried doing a series before and I stopped at episode 9. I, apart from that, it was just small videos here and there. So, <clears throat> for today, we run for water. Now, the good thing about water is, I haven't got many water types. I've done Tafu Fini. And I've done Palkia. So there was a 50-50 chance of getting one of those two or the remaining two water types that I need. And as luck would have it, one after the other, I did get the last two water types. So we're doing the first one being Kyogre, but not right now. We're doing the one, which we actually did recently. So we've done Duraladon. Uh, can't see with that Pokemon. What is it Pelipper? Yeah. Oh shit! It's right there. <laughs> okay, so Hatterene, I think we've done. Yeah. Oh, I'm dead. But that was a failed recording episode. So we'll do that now. I actually do like Hatterene. I, I mean, yeah, I do like it. I don't. Ha Hatina's alright. I'm not crazy about Hatrim, but I really like Hatterene. I think it's cool. I like it. It's Dynamax form. Pretty nifty. It's very, very slow, but packs quite a punch. So it's definitely a Pokemon that'll be worth it on your team. It's just not going to outspeed a lot of things. But not every Pokemon has to be the fastest to win battles. It's all about other stats besides speed, so what Hatterene lacks in makes up for in its other stats and trick room. Which basically throws what I just said out the window. Okay, we've done Hatterene. I don't know if we've done Buffalo. We're getting to that point where we've done mostly Pokemon. 
so I'm at that point where I just want to do either once I done in a full recording or haven't one yet just in the off chance because there have only been 10 episodes after this you know there's not going to be much more chances of me reviewing these Pokemon this one I'm pretty sure we've done I just like it, it's meh. I, I prefer Tauros. Even more so with its Paldean form, so there's at least three other forms to like. This should have been a uh, Tauros evolution actually. Just like a Lomo Love and Love Disc. It's even Baractus could have been like an evolution of Cacnea, like a branched evolution. There was a, quite a few Pokemon in Unova that should have been Evolved form, like cross gen ev evolutions, but they never did that. I don't get why. I mean, I'm glad the Gen 9 are bringing that idea back. Not just with forms, but they're actually bringing back cross gen evolution. You've got Annihilate, King Gambit, the Dunsparce, and Farigarath. Like, Clodsire, not so much, because that's Paldean Whoopers evolved form. So I'm glad they're bringing about cross-gen evolution. I mean, they do it with Stantler and Ursulina, but I'm talking about Pokemon you can catch and evolve. With Legends Arceus, you've got to do all sorts of things to get those into uh, the recent games. So, and plus, Stantler's Pokedex mentions that it used to be able to evolve. I'm talking about Pokemon that can evolve and most likely will stay that way. But anyways, we're done. It takes Aegisaur. Pelipper. Have we done Pelipper? I may have to do that one quickly. Yeah, in the finale, what I might do is, if I haven't done them all, I might review the full recording of Pokemon. <gasps> yes. No! I suppose it's grass, to be fair. But we should get that then. Uh, what am I looking for? Pel. <coughs> Sorry. Short for you to do that. Pelipper. That's what I'm looking for. Pelipper. I can't find. So we do Pelipper. I know we've done Serena. So it's Pelipper's turn. I was not a big fan of Pelipper at first. Now I do like it. It's just if I'm playing through the holding games, I'd rather pick other Pokemon like Swellow or Skarmory or Swablu. Pelipper, I feel it only just recently got better with Drizzle, and now it's got Stockpile, and even Hurricane, so I feel like now Pelipper is good, but before then it was not really. Mind you, I'd be worried about finding Shiny Wingull, you've got to find that little detail going from blue to green and apart from that I don't know about the rest of it might be a small tinge but I honestly don't know but as for Pelipper well it definitely got a glow up when it got drizzle that reminds me I best how Drizzle and Trout used to be Kyogre and Groudon specific move, if moves, 
abilities. But now you've got Pokemon like Politoed and Pelipper, Mentals and Torkoal, who all have those same type, uh, the same um, abilities. Yeah, I know there's Desolate Land and Prior Primordial Sea for the primal forms, but even so, but maybe that's why they made those new abilities for like Primal Groudon and Kyogre. A stronger version of Drizzle and Drought. And speaking of Drizzle, I failed to bring this up yet. That if we have a Pokemon with Drizzle, we're going to fight a Pokemon with Drizzle. We really need some Pokemon that had Drought. And the only Pokemon I know that has it in this is the aforementioned Torkoal. So. Yeah, I mean, if anyone wants Serena, they're more than welcome to. I'd rather, I think I'm going to keep uh, Duraldon because of Thunder Wave. Plus it's got Thunderbolt, which is super effective, so we'll see. I might take Serena. It depends on if anyone else wants them. If they do, fine. If not, I'll take them. Or her, rather, because they're only females. So that we still have that stab type advantage. I definitely think we should get rid of Pelipper. We don't want to power up Kyogre. Although I'm saying that we'll already have Drizzle. So Okay. They're taking Sardina. Good. That means we have a powerful grass type. And our final one. Hey! It's. It's. <coughs> from the last episode. Or episode before, rather. Yeah, two episodes ago. Of course. Don't know. Oh well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so we've got Lopunny and Hitmonlee. I'm forgetting to look at the types too. I got a small glimpse, but I was more focused on normal. We've done both, and I know that. We've definitely done both. And I believe. I know it was Crunch, but I don't know what those other ones are. Those Charm, and I think Rise Voltage. The last move, I don't know, but it's definitely the crunch, which breaking swipe will stop. <laughs> Dynamite Serena. I thought we just dealt with her already. <laughs> Wonder if I said that before. I genuinely didn't know what episode. <coughs> But I know it was definitely Lickitung I said that about. Personally, I think Peony. Wait, is she here? Yeah, Peony is here. I thought I was seeing Oh, she's got Hatterene. I thought she had Pelipper. Well. I think Pelipper should be swapped with Bolton. That's my opinion. But it, it really it comes down to who wants. Hey, there we go. Not. <laughs> I forgot about Queenly Majesty. But I thought it would have worked. I didn't think it would work from the prison. Honestly, I honestly thought Helping Hand would have worked. I don't know what priority, I know what Queen of Majesty does, but I didn't think it affected the 
opposing Pokemon too. I thought it was just attacking priority moves like extreme speed or something. Okay. Fine. Fine. That's perfectly fine. I still have Duraludon. We now have two Pokemon with staff moves strong against Kyogre. One which actually keep it Pelbert is a good move. Quick Guard, Origin Pulse. Good. I am ashamed I never thought about Quick Guard Pelipper. No, no. No, uh, no. I was torn there. But then it's going to be another two turns for a strong Pokemon, like a super effective one from Dynamax. Because Thunderbolt's not stab, I don't think it'll do as much. And Bolton's faster. Oh, I just want to paralyze Kyogre. Just keep doing that. That's fine. Let's just see that Kyogre used Body Slam, but it didn't. He used Body Slam, but because of how defensive Duraludon is, <laughs> the effect of Paralysis affected Kyogre instead. Not because of Thunder Wave. No, 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 no. I don't know what the heck I'm going about, but I. Whatever. Oh! Kyogre. I love Kyogre. It's one of my favourite Pokemon. No. Oh. Legendaries. Primal Kyogre. Wow. It's the wow, I didn't think Kyogre needed the boost, but hey, I I'm not complaining in the slightest. I've always liked Kyogre, so it has been a very influential Pokemon to why I like Hoenn. I really like all of the legendaries in Hoenn. So, having said that, I do prefer Groudon. But that's not to say Kyogre's not up there. I'm a, I don't know if it's in my top 10 favourites. There's so many Pokemon, so many legendaries now. I remember back when there was only 35. That was from Kanto to um, Sinnoh, but that includes Mythicals, but back then they were still considered Legendaries. So we had 35. And that was easier to make a decision. <gasps> Pelper went down, we used Wide Guard, and it still worked. Now that's what I call a blessing. I am sorry that I said about trading away Pelipper. Truly Pelipper, I am so sorry. But look at Kyogre's face. I love it when it does this animation when it's so big. It just, I don't know, when it does that, when it's, with how big it is, I don't know, it just feels like, I don't know, it's hard to explain. I know it's a whale, but it just feels more like a whale when it does that kind of movement. Especially when it's dynamized and it's in the air. Because obviously scaling and all, and whales are huge. So this is like Kilgore actual size almost. It's a believable size for a start. For sure. Okay, we're almost done. 
Wow, the Galadon's faster than Sarina? I would never have guessed. Here we go, we're done. We beat Kyogre. All that's left for Hoenn is Groudon. Which I can't wait for. Groudon is definitely one of my top 10 favourites. Like, every Pokemon in Hoenn, like Legendary, I really like. Mithril too. If I had to say in my top 10, at least 5 of them would be up there. 5 Hoenn Pokemon would be in my top 10. That's how strongly I feel about them all. But anyways, no, 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 no. I swear I do have the shiny charm in both games, so it's the one in one hundred chance. That's just that one in one hundred. Uh, oh, that was weird. So we'll keep Kyogre for now, and let's see what we have. You don't have anyone. Why? Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I need to change the eye color of my character. Bye, sir. I'll do it before this weekend episode. Don't know why I can't face forward. There we go. Close enough. Well, anyways, next time we will be taking on Suicune, which. It's an exception to the rule I said about all the legendaries here. I'll explain why in the next episode again. Just before I go. Kyogre. So I'm glad I've done that one. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, then please like the video, comment on the video, and subscribe to the channel for more content. Also, check out my Twitter where I'm... I'm active on a regular. It is the same name as the channel, it is Nathan Cinderace, but there's plenty of Pokemon content and other content here and there. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.